Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. In this video, I'm going to really quickly talk about the differences between Windows 10 and Windows 11 for artists and three, and three different reasons why I wish I was still on Windows 10 as an artist or as a note taker. So here, here's the first one. In Windows 11, while it is admittedly a beautiful UI update, they've actually lost features for artists. So inside the Surface app, what you can see, you can see my device, you can see my Slim Pen 2, and then my Surface Pen, which strangely displays as a Slim Pen 1. Okay, so we're going to go here, and in here you can see pen pressure settings. I have mine set to 7. If you're using a Surface Pen or a Slim Pen, I highly recommend putting this over to or let me just do this simply. So you can see some variation in the pencil. This is how this looks inside of OneNote. We're going to go right next to it. And what you're going to see is that this has very little pencil-like um, lowered opacity. This is going to be light. This is going to be dark. Bring this back to 4. And at 4, you can get this very nice pencil-like experience. That is gone if you're using a third-party stylus. So you can't adjust this anymore unless you have a Surface Pen. I don't like that. That's a big deal for a lot of people, um, myself included. So we are trying to add the ability to adjust pressure sensitivity into the pen tool. So here we would want to add it ideally either into settings somewhere over here where you can adjust how much pressure the pen has system wide, uh, or possibly we may be able to do this per program. So you might be able to have Photoshop have a lighter pressure sensitivity setting and then have um, Krita or ArtRage or Rebel have a uh, harder or darker pen pressure setting. I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. That is something we're trying to add. And uh, you guys, if you're using a stylus on a, on a Windows tablet, the pen tool is a great addition. It's something that we make. Uh, me and another guy, Marius, have, have done all the work on this so that you can change what the side buttons do and so that you can load up artist pads. These are keyboard shortcuts that work with uh, programs. So if you're drawing or you're doing 3D work or you're doing note taking, these are really, really useful. All right, so let's go back to here. So that ability is gone. The next thing that I don't like in Windows 11 is they've had this consistent bug the whole time, and I'm going to have to try and get a um, copy of it. What happens is when you aren't using the pen, and then you start using it after a bit of a gap, what will happen is this whole area down here will flash for like 10 to 30 seconds and you won't be able to use the pen you won't be able to do anything until it's done glitching out and then you can start using the stylus again uh, i've had different things this is, is something that i i believe they said they fixed in a in a previous version of windows 11 and the bug seems to be back so hopefully they correct that super frustrating really annoying uh, and does not happen inside of windows 10. Okay, the last thing that I want to point out here in OneNote, I use OneNote all the time. And so what I'm doing here inside of OneNote, if I'm handwriting, you can see here, if I'm drawing here, you're going to see that the line is going to turn invisible and then populate as I finish drawing. So not well this is a complaint video so <laughs> i won't apologize for complaining but that's really frustrating one of the things that i like the most about drawing on uh or in a drawing program that, that makes it the most enjoyable for me is that lack of latency it feels right when as you're going the line is appearing directly underneath now OneNote does not have a latency issue uh, this is something different. The line is turning invisible and then visible as the pen tip comes up and it's 
occasionally, not all the time, but it's really frustrating. It really makes the experience bad enough for me that I have been looking at other applications. If you go into Windows 11 Pen and Windows Ink, they have these settings here. There's really nothing here that improves the experience for artists. Um, display additional key presses. This will show uh, Alt if the, the pen is near the screen, Shift or Control if the pen is near the screen. If you turn that off, then it won't display that. modifier while you're holding it down. There was a bug that was causing massive latency when this was turned on uh, when Windows 11 was initially launched. That seems to be fixed. So I think they'll get there, but for right now, if you're on Windows 10, you're not wowed by a flashy UI update, I, I, just wait. It's not worth it yet, especially if you're a heavy user of OneNote, uh, or if you use the pressure sensitivity inside of Windows to adjust your pen pressure settings. That said, some of those pen pressure settings, like in Rebel, so inside of Rebel, you can see that the tracking works correctly. You're getting what you are, are expecting to get here. Uh, you can adjust the pen pressure sensitivity here, soft, firm, and you can do it for the entire program. And a lot of programs have that, some don't. So keep in mind that this is augmenting what's happening here, if you don't have this, then you're just losing uh, a level of control. Like OneNote does not, ah, it's so annoying. OneNote does not have an internal setting that adjusts the pen pressure settings. So if you have it set really high, you're gonna lose a lot of this granularity. All right. That's my take on Windows 11 for artists versus Windows 10 for artists. If you guys have questions or if you have a solution on how to fix this thing that's going on with the stylus in OneNote, please put it in the comment section. I've tried so many different things and done a lot of research trying to fix this, and I haven't been able to figure out uh, how to get this to work the way it did inside of Windows 10. All right, I hope you guys found this useful. If you did, please subscribe. If you use a stylus, uh, this is a great channel for you. Thank you for watching. Stay creative and have a wonderful day.